Hello everybody. So it's Monday afternoon now <clears throat> and it's the May 9th I think and uh, normally this time of year I would be thinking about getting uh, getting animals on the pasture, grass would be growing, things would be turning green but uh, this year after a foot of snow last weekend more than a foot and then it melted and everything is soaking wet everything's a mud hole and we were looking forward to sunshine and we got a pile of rain on friday and uh then it started snowing on saturday evening snowed all sunday and it's not snow that piles up it's melting almost as soon as it touches the ground although it is it is starting to make a layer and now all snow on monday roads have been crazy icy um yeah we're 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 well sick of winter here and we would like some spring the pigs all agree and the sheep are with the pigs and the cows against their own nature say that the pigs have got a point so i threw a hay bale in here so they had something to pull apart chew on and cuddle into because because it's just crazy the amount of the amount of moisture like you just can't have animals swimming in mud all the time so but they all look pretty happy everybody's looking porky that's the way we like it now we'll go see what the sheep are up to this is what it looks like behind the barn we got a lake basically there sometimes there's ducks in it and uh this is where the cows walk where daisy used to walk and as I go through it and almost fall down, it's just, it's just an incredible amount of mud. And uh, we just really need some sunshine, some warm weather, so things can start to grow here. Because while I still have hay, I can still feed these animals. I can't get hardly to the hay. And when I do finally get to the hay, I can't get the hay in here and feed these guys. So everybody's looking kind of bedraggled and and wet and a little bit muddy. And uh, everybody's just had enough. It's time for spring. It's just time for spring. So there's a couple bales I got in here. I didn't dare drive in here. So I just drove up to the fence and dropped them over because uh, it's just so soft. I'd bury the tractor. So some of the sheep are over there eating away. A lot of them are hiding in this shelter here. Although this shelter is not completely dry, but it's better than nothing. It keeps the snow off of them. But you can see in their feet that, uh, you know, they just have muddy feet. And, uh, you know, that's not what you want for sheep. And uh, yeah, we just really, we need some dry weather so that everybody can can just be happier, I guess, yeah. Plus we're gonna be lambing in about two or three weeks here and it's just not, it's not what you want to lamb in. Like it's just mud and, and snow and this is, this is not ideal. So you can see I did get two bales there as well. And uh, those are the cows over there. And they're, they still got lots of hay in their feeder. So everybody's good. I don't need to drive in here, but at least not for another week. But eventually I will. And unless we have a miracle and it really greens up fast, I'm going to need to feed these guys again in another week or so. And, uh, and I just don't know if I can until it dries up. So, uh, yeah, pray for sunshine. And if anybody's wondering how our little surprise lamb that we had, little squirt, is doing, well, she's doing just fine. She's eating away. She's growing like a weed. She's, uh, yeah, she's she's just thriving. And uh, this weather doesn't seem to phase her at all. Here's Stubby checking on him. Yeah, oh, he's a good dog too, yeah. Thank you. 
good boy stops. Sometimes he's a little bit rambunctious, but he's uh, he's coming along, I think. Good boy, Stubbs. Good boy, Stubby boy. Yeah. See, and now the cows have kind of spied me, and they think that I might mean something good, so they're everybody's kind of trucking in but uh, but they are mistaken they've got their hay they've got water up by the barn but they uh, they've taken to drinking out of this uh, semi river that flows through their pasture now but uh, these ones too the there's three heifers in here and they are due to calve uh, within the first week of June so uh, yeah that's another you know another reason we'd like to, things to dry up because nobody wants to calve into this mud hole and uh, you know some of the smaller ones especially here they just they need some sunshine on their backs to, to just kind of get going and green grass green grass would really help but uh, yeah Maybe, we'll see. It's supposed to go up to 14 degrees, sunny, cloudy-ish tomorrow. So we're, uh, and kind of stay like that all week with some chance of rain also in there. So fingers crossed, and I'll keep you posted. All right, have a good day.